This video is sponsored by Surfshark. Find out how you can secure your sensitive data and get an 83% discount and one month extra free by clicking the link in the description. Hey, what's going on everyone? Greg here. And with iOS 13 launching, there are some amazing new features you're gonna wanna check out. So here is a list of some of my favorite tips and tricks for iOS 13. One of the biggest new features in iOS 13 is Apple's brand new dark mode, which is coming to iOS for the first time. It changes the entire look of your apps into a nice dark mode and it looks particularly good on the OLED displays like the 10s and iPhone 11 Pro. However, even though I like the look of dark mode, it's not something I want to use all the time, especially in daylight and bright environments. So for this tip, I recommend switching on automatic dark mode. You can find this in the settings under display and brightness. You'll see two appearance options for light or dark mode and then the option to toggle that on automatically. By default, it will switch dark mode from sunset to sunrise. That way you have light mode during the day and dark mode during night. However, you can change this by using a custom schedule for light and dark mode. So even if you want it to do the complete inverse and have dark mode on during the day and light mode on during night, you could do that with the custom schedule with that automatic dark mode. Another great change in iOS 13 is that Apple got rid of the intrusive volume HUD. Now the volume HUD appears directly on the side next to the volume buttons and is no longer on the middle of the screen blocking your content. However, even though you can still change the volume using the buttons, you can also now grab the volume slider with your finger and quickly raise or lower the volume. And I find this really helpful when I need to quickly change the volume on iOS 13. Another tip is to use the new haptic touch capabilities in iOS 13. So the forthcoming iPhone 11 and iPhone 11 Pro will no longer include a 3D touch sensor. However, that's not much of a problem anymore thanks to the improvements of haptic touch in iOS 13. Now you can long press icons and get the same quick actions that 3D Touch would normally give you. You can also use this in other areas like quick actions through Control Center or previewing links and tapping into them, very similar to the peak and pop functions of 3D Touch. This version of Haptic Touch is much closer to the feel and functionality of 3D Touch, and particularly if you're upgrading to iOS 13 on an iPhone XR, you're getting a lot of expanded features here that you're gonna wanna try out. Speaking of quick actions, iOS 13 also adds new functionality to long pressing or 3D touching onto the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth settings in Control Center. Previously, all you could do was toggle these settings on or off, but now you can long press to get a list of your Wi-Fi networks or a list of your Bluetooth devices. This means that you can now quickly change these settings without having to dig through the settings menu. Another trick is that we know that iPadOS will be getting some brand new gestures. However, these gestures are also available on your iPhone with iOS 13. Some of these new gestures include a three finger pinch to copy and then a three finger spread to paste. You can also swipe three fingers to the left to undo and then three fingers to the right to redo. It can be a little tricky learning these gestures and the timing of them at first, but once you do, they are a nice time saver. Another new trick in iOS 13 is the ability to quickly edit a message thread. For example, maybe you wanna delete a message very quickly or maybe you want to forward an address or other important piece of information from one message to another. Well, all you have to do is double tap two fingers on your message and then you will quickly select whatever message you double tap. Now, you have the option to either quickly delete it or if you press on the right side, you can actually copy that message into another new message and send it off to another recipient. Now this tip is to try out the new swiping keyboard on the native keyboard on iOS 13. The swiping keyboard is a first for the default keyboard on iOS 13 and it acts very similar to other third-party keyboards or Android keyboards that have had this feature for a long time. But now you can finally swipe to type on Apple's default keyboard. Just swipe your finger to the keys on the keyboard to type. I find it really useful for when I only have one hand available to type. Another great feature on iOS 13 is now the ability to take a screenshot of a full web page. Before you were limited to taking multiple screenshots of certain sections. Now when you press the volume up and side button on a web page, you'll get two options. The first is a simple screenshot. The second is a full page screenshot. 
So now you get the full web page in that screenshot, so you can now easily save this to mark up a web page or save it as a PDF to read later for future references and in notes. Speaking of tips, probably one of the greatest tips is making sure you have a trustworthy VPN to protect and encrypt your sensitive data on the internet. Which brings us to our sponsor for this video, Surfshark. Surfshark is a forward-thinking privacy protection tool which guarantees instant online safety and no-frills usage experience. When it's on, Surfshark encrypts all the data sent via the internet so that no one could see your passwords, private messages, steal photos, videos, or other sensitive data. To put it simply, Surfshark protects its users in the open waters of today's internet. Not only does Surfshark protect your privacy, but it also allows you to search for better pricing by avoiding price discrimination for flight tickets, hotel sites, and apartment bookings. It encrypts information sent between your devices and blocks ads, malware, trackers, and prevents phishing. It's also great for traveling to other countries so you can connect to Wi-Fi without worrying about sharing your data with strangers and great for getting past geo-restricted content blockers and internet censorship so you can still access the websites you love even when traveling abroad. Surfshark also offers unlimited simultaneous connections on one account and advanced security protocols. And Surfshark is simple to use with a great UI, one button connection, and it will not collect data logs on your browsing history. Surfshark is also multi-platform, so it's available on iOS, Android, macOS, and Windows. Best of all, Surfshark is offering viewers of Greg's Gadgets an 83% discount and one month extra free. That's one of the best prices in the industry, and all you have to do is enter the promo code Greg's Gadgets when you sign up by clicking the link in the description. It's that easy. So make sure you protect and secure your sensitive data with Surfshark, and thank you so much to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. With iOS 13, Face ID is receiving an upgrade to make it 30% faster, even on previous iPhones. This is going to make Face ID super fast, especially on the latest iPhone models. However, here's a simple tip I like to add to have another feedback mechanism to let you know when Face ID has successfully unlocked your phone. And this is to enable haptic feedback on Face ID whenever it successfully unlocks your phone. All you do is go to settings, go to accessibility, and go to the Face ID settings. Here you will see a new option for haptic unsuccessful authentication. This will give you haptic feedback when Face ID successfully unlocks your iPhone, authorizes Apple Pay, or verifies iTunes and App Store purchases. iPhones have some of the best haptics out there on any smartphone, and I really love this light little haptic feel whenever I use it to unlock my phone. It kind of feels like a physical lock unlocking, and it just lets me know that everything is working perfectly. Another nice trick on iOS 13 is the ability to adjust the effect of portrait mode photo. So sometimes when you take a portrait mode photo, especially when you're using the filters like stage light mono or the new high key mono, sometimes the lighting effects are too strong or too weak. You can now change this in iOS 13 by editing your portrait mode shots, and now there is a slider on the bottom to change the intensity of the effect. It's really quick and helpful to change these effects, and you can really improve the look of a portrait mode's lighting effect. Another trick for iOS 13 is the ability now to grab the scroll bar. For example, have you ever been on a long web page where you just need to keep either scrolling, scrolling, scrolling to get to the top or the bottom? Well, now instead of just wasting your time scrolling up and down, you can actually hold your finger on the right side and grab the scroll bar and then you can drag that up or down to reach the top or bottom of a web page very quickly. Every time you grab the scroll bar you get a nice little bit of haptic feedback to let you know it was successful and then you can just swipe up or swipe down really quickly to get to the top or bottom of a web page. I don't know about you, but I am so tired of receiving robo and spam calls on my iPhone, but thankfully with iOS 13 there is now an ability to silence unknown callers. I'm sure almost everyone watching this video is constantly getting spammed by annoying robo callers, but now with iOS 13 you get the ability to silence those unknown callers. Simply go into settings, go to your phone settings, scroll down and you'll see the toggle to silence unknown callers. Now calls from unknown numbers will automatically be silenced and sent to voicemail. What's great is, is that incoming calls from your contacts, recent calls you picked up, and Siri suggested callers will still be able to go through this filter and reach you. 
Okay, and the final trick for this video is the ability to share audio with two pairs of AirPods. You can also use this audio sharing feature with other W1 or H1 enabled headphones like the Powerbeats Pro. To do this, you have to have both headphones connected to your iPhone, go into Control Center, long press on the Now Playing section, tap on the AirPlay source, and you'll see your headphones listed. Just tap on the second headphone pair and now it's connected. Now anything you play on your iPhone will go to both pairs of AirPods. And you also get separate volume controls for each pair. You can even go into control center volume settings and see that you're sharing your audio with a contact and you can control both volume sliders from there as well. Now I set this up manually on my phone. Unfortunately, I don't have any friends. I mean friends running the iOS 13 beta that I can share audio to. But when you both have iOS 13, you should be able to hold both of your phones next to each other and then get a prompt to share audio between devices. All right, everyone, and those are some of my tips and tricks for iOS 13. Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, make sure you leave me a like. If you wanna see more from my channel, make sure you're subscribed. I would also encourage you to check out our sponsor for this video. Don't forget to use the promo code Greg's Gadgets for 83% off and one month free with Surfshark VPN. Also be sure to let me know what your favorite tips and tricks were for this video, or if you have any more you would like to add to the list. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Take care everyone.